that you are going to need are some empty bottles. You can use any type that you like as long as they have a lid on them. And if they have labels on them, just soak them in warm water for a few minutes and they will come right off. Next, you're going to need some extra fine glitter. I know a lot of you will probably ask if you can use the chunkier glitter. You can use it, but I don't think it works nearly as well. So I definitely recommend using the fine glitter. You're also going to need food coloring. I'm using the neon kind because this is the only kind I have right now, but you can also use the regular food coloring. That works just as well. Next, you're going to need some corn syrup. And lastly, we are going to need some labels for our potion bottles. I picked mine up from Joanne Fabrics and the Dollar Tree. If you don't want to have to buy them, you can also just go on Google and print your own out. To begin making our potions, what we are going to do is take one of the empty bottles and fill it up with water. This bottle here is just an old wine bottle, and like I said, to remove the label, just soak it in warm water for a few minutes and it comes right off. And now I'm just filling up my other empty bottle with water because I am going to have two different colored potions. Next, you're going to take the food coloring in the color of your choice. I'm using blue, and you're just going to go ahead and add a few drops. I just like to add a few drops at a time. You can always add more later if you want it a little bit of a darker color. And look how cool that looks when you put the food coloring in. Looks all potion-y. And then you just want to put your lid on nice and tight and shake it up. Mix the color around, and like I said, if you want it a little bit of a darker color, you can go ahead and add some more food coloring. Now I'm doing the exact same thing with my other bottle, except this time I'm using green food coloring. And you don't have to use green and blue, you can use any colors that you like. For the green, I did end up adding quite a few more drops. The blue I only needed two because it was such a dark color, but the green was pretty light, so I had to add in quite a few drops of it. For this next potion, you're just going to want to take some type of a cup. I'm using an empty Starbucks cup here, and then you're just going to fill it up with some corn syrup. Next, you're going to pour in some of your fine glitter. You can add as much or as little as you like. After you add that, you're just going to take some type of a stir stick and mix it up really well. Make sure you do a really good job mixing it up. You want the glitter distributed evenly in the corn syrup. You can also add more glitter if you think that there is not enough. This is what it looks like when we are finished. I think it looks really cool. So now all you're going to do is take one of your empty bottles and go ahead and pour this inside and there you have another potion. It's really fun to play around with different colors of glitter and see what potions you can come up with. I also made another one using the two Martha Stewart glitters, mixing them together. Here are all of our finished potions. I absolutely love the way these came out. I think my two favorites are the ones with the corn syrup. So now we're just going to go ahead and add on our labels. I'm going to take this frog syrup brew and add it to the green bottle. And I'm just adding mine using a little bit of scotch tape. You could use Mod Podge if you wanted to, but I like to reuse these labels year after year. So I just go ahead and use scotch tape and that works just fine. For the blue bottle, I'm adding the creepy looking spider that says sweet and succulent on it. I believe they also have the ones at the dollar store that are actual stickers, so you can just go ahead and stick them right on without actually having to tape them. I 
I decided not to add any labels to the two smaller potions just because I thought it kind of covered up a lot of the bottle and I really wanted to be able to just see the pretty glitter so I just left them as they were. Now that my potions are all done I decided I wanted to find a cute way to display them so all I did was stick them on this mirrored tray here that I found at TJ Maxx. I also added a lava lamp in the back I just thought the bubbling effect looked really cool with all of the potions. I also added this little jar of eyeballs. The eyeballs are from the Dollar Tree and the little jar here is from TJ Maxx. I also just thought it gave it a nice little effect to go with all of the potions. So that is it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you next time.